One of key highlights discussed by civil society budget advocacy group was decline in monthly headline inflation. They revealed that there had been a decrease from 9.0% in March 2023 to 8.0% in April 2023. This reduction is a positive indicator, suggesting stability in the economy. According to Mukunda Julius, CS Bank Executive Director, projected increase is as a result of an increment of Uganda Revenue Authority from 23 trillion shillings to 29 trillion shillings. This projected increase is a result of uh, government of Uganda projecting an increment of URA from 25 trillion to 29 trillion. Uh, of course, knowing that URA will be collecting 27, but also non-tax revenues will, will come to 2.4 trillion Ghana shillings. Despite this positive development, there are several challenges associated with implementation of the financial year 2023-2024 budget. A major concern raised is public debt sustainability. The national debt surged significantly over years, increasing from 30.9 trillion shillings in financial year 2018-2019 to a staggering 86.6 trillion shillings in financial year 2023-2024. This rise poses a significant risk to the economy and sectors like trade requiring careful management and strategic planning. The challenges we see with this budget is that it does not speak to key productive areas or sectors such as uh, mainly trade. When it comes to uh, Uganda we have already a trade deficit. We definitely do not import, we import more and export less. And even the challenges that come with that is that our own sec uh, programs such as manufacturing, which has actually been um, cut from 235 billion to 186 billion, you see that there's actually going to be a challenge when it comes to how much uh, finished products that we do have in able to compete with the outside market. Additionally, in a world where food insecurity continues to challenge well-being of millions, promotion of food security requires strong commitment and adequate resource allocation by including targeted initiatives in their budgets. Until when we put the issues of food and nutrition security on the table of our planning, we are losing it. We are instead going to import more tear gas to fight to run after the hungry young men and women we are going to um strengthen security at household but also at community level because when the hungry are not sleeping not even the satisfied will sleep so this is another very big concern that we are looking at the budget and uh government of uganda is not coming out def definite to see how are they going to feel the food insecurity gaps. Pursuit of an effective budget for a nation necessitates addressing existing challenges that hinder progress. Within realm of agriculture development, supporting and empowering farmers is paramount for achieving sustainable production. We commend government's effort in uh, upscaling uh, the use of technologies that can be easily adopted by the smaller farmers. But the challenge still remains in uh, uh, the extension services. We know that this budget itself, that this budget itself cannot be achieved if the existing challenges are going to remain. It can only be achieved on very, very strong assumptions that we think uh, need to be addressed for us to be able to achieve what we want. As Uganda moves forward with budget implementation, it is imperative for policymakers, government officials, and civil society organizations to work together to address challenges at hand. Effective debt management strategies and robust fiscal policies will be crucial to ensure long term economic stability and sustainable growth. Bronya Katsime, Smart 24 TV, Business Today.